Good morning, everybody. It's Monday. I should be at work. I'm not really supposed to be. I requested it off, so it's fine, honestly. But it's almost 10 o'clock. And um, that really excites me because that means that I will be fasting for a full 39 hours, especially since after yesterday when I was struggling as much as I was. I didn't think I was going to be able to make it this long. And here I am coming up on 39 hours of fasting, and I'm making waffles. And um, I'm going to have savory waffles this morning instead of savory pancakes because I have leftover sauce and sour cream and stuff that I can make with it. So I'm really proud of myself because I didn't think I was going to be able to last this long and because of you guys reaching out and supporting me and telling me to keep going and not give up, I've been able to fast for a whole 39 hours which is super exciting to me. So yay, thank you guys. I cannot express to you how much I appreciate it. I'm trying not to burn myself as I pull this waffle off the oven. Yeah, grill, whatever you want to call it. So obviously you guys now know for breakfast I'm making savory waffles and then for lunch I'm actually thinking about making these buffalo tempeh meatball sandwich things because I have buns I need to use anyways. I got some of this um, tempeh at Trader Joe's. Organic through grain. So I'm kind of intrigued and I want to try it so I figured I might as well um, make some meatball sandwiches with this or something. I don't know how many calories that's going to be. I'm kind of not wanting to count my calories today. Um, I know this evening I'm going to be eating a lot, probably drinking and stuff like that. So there's really going to be no point in me counting my calories because I know I'll more than likely go over my TDE. So uh, that's one thing to think about. really need to finish this painting of this dog I'm doing for a coworker. I might work on that for breakfast actually. And then I have to make biscuits, I'm going to pre-make biscuits, I'm going to pre-make my pizza crust, I'm going to make garlic rolls and salsa, and then we're putting up some New Year signs, we got to decorate and clean. So it's going to be a pretty busy day for me, and I'm hoping at some point today I can go downstairs and run um, to get in some, you know, exercise and burn some extra calories, so that way I won't feel as bad about eating tonight. So that's what's going on right now, and uh, it's raining outside, so it's a great day to have off in the rain. Wonderful. Just a quick check in with you guys. I am getting ready to go downstairs and go work out. Instead of running, I think I'm going to do kettlebell swings. Um, I'll do a warm up with walking, kettlebell swings with a running recovery or jogging recovery, and um, do that and possibly some other things. From doing some research actually just now, um, I realized that kettlebell swings can burn a lot of calories. So that way I'm not hurting my hips anymore. Um, they're kind of been sore the past couple of days, I think because I've been going so hard on the elliptical and the treadmill and as much cardio as I've been doing. So this will be a kind of a way to rest them a little bit more, um, you know, than running because running does hurt your knees and your hips. So um, this will be good to do to help burn some calories for today. So I'm going to go do that downstairs. Um, according to the article I just read, it says that if it takes you five minutes to do 50 swings at a 10 swings per minute, you'd burn around 100 calories in that time. So, I mean, if I do five minutes, 50 swings, 10 swings per minute, that'd be pretty good. We'll see what happens when I go down there, though, because I know they're kind of exhausting. So, that's what I'm going to go do right now, though, guys, and um, I'll update you guys afterwards. Well, our party starts in about an hour now, and I just got finished... Um, getting ready basically my skin looks terrible so i kind of wanted to put makeup on it to hide it a little bit more not doing anything to my hair i'm in my onesie for um the party we're having a buddies board games blankets and booze party so just chilling with everybody tonight for the new year's and ringing in 2019 with some of my closest friends and it's gonna be awesome i have my kitchen set up i will show you guys what i have going on in there right now just because i know i probably won't vlog again i might try to get some pictures i'm gonna try to get some pictures i try to get some pictures every party we got some streamers up we got these in 2019 i will and i said learn to be easier on myself because you guys know how hard i am on myself all the time about everything and I really need to learn to relax and enjoy life and not worry so much about if something's going to destroy my weight loss or not. Um, I've gotten to the point where I'm down low enough that I need to start enjoying life and not worry about it so much. And then my favorite part of 2018, I said being fortunate enough to take several vacations with my love because we did and we were very lucky to have gone on as many vacations as we did this year. 
So on the table we got cookies, topsies, popcorn, which is a local popcorn place that sells some amazing popcorn. We have tortillas and candy and chocolate covered and candied nuts and stuff like that. Um, and uh, we have people bringing stuff. In the refrigerator I have salsa. We're making pizzas tonight. Hannah and I are making pizzas. Everybody else is gonna be ordering um, pizza from somewhere, but I wanted to do my own pizza because I knew I could get more and be more full off of what I make. And it'd be less calories than if I eat two slices of pizza from what they're ordering um, from someplace. So I think my pizza is gonna end up being like 560 calories or something when two slices of pizza from Papa John's or something's like over 700 calories and I'm making a whole pizza so I'm pretty excited for that. Um, Hannah and I are gonna make our own pizzas and then I have salsa in there, a cheesecake that's vegan um, that I chopped up into bite-sized pieces for everybody and uh, I don't know what else everybody's planning on bringing. I was planning on making garlic rolls but I haven't decided if I'm gonna do that yet or not. We're gonna have a lot of food and stuff here anyway so if I don't make it, then I don't make it, but we'll kind of see how I'm feeling when the time comes, because I mean, I do need to work and cook those biscuits actually. So anyway, I'm gonna let Bowser out and wait for people to get here. It's 6.16, party starts at 7.30, so hopefully stuff will start happening soon. I did forget to mention about what we did for lunch. We ended up making a chicken lo mein from Trader Joe's. It was pretty good. A third of the bag was 200 calories, so half of the bag was 300. It wasn't super filling though. I ended up eating an orange and some of this better than peanut butter. Better than peanut butter. It's two tablespoons for 100 calories, which is 90 calories off the two tablespoons of regular peanut butter. It's not bad. I had that with an apple and I've honestly been snacking on some of this stuff on the table already. I knew that was gonna happen anyway, so I figured I might as well just start now. Now I'm gonna let you guys go and I will talk to you later. Yeah, I am. Tell them what's going on. Well, I guess first off, what is today? It's Tuesday, right? Tuesday, January 1st. Yep. Happy 2019, Rachel's vlog friends. Yes, we are here making... We are here, we are here. <laughs> <laughs> making a whole bunch of biscuits and gravy. I have turkey sausage right now, and I'm trying to chop it up and keep it from pudding. And we're making coffee and biscuits. Let's show them the biscuits. 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 And um, yeah. We have bacon in the fridge. Right oh, okay, JK. It's right here. <laughs> we have two pounds of bacon. Mm -hmm. This is all who has stayed. Say hi to Rachel's vlog people. Hi, hi Rachel's vlog people. Do you have a name for them? I don't know what I would call people who support me, like the Rachel Lee, no that's... <laughs> <laughs> the Rachel Lees. I, you know, it's not like I have a, a cool name. True. Could See, like, I could be your videographer. Like, you know those people? I don't know. Is there people who have those people? I don't know. I don't know. For a vlog, I think you just do it yourself. Oh. Yeah. True that. True that. True that. I this is a lot of turkey sausage. I've never had turkey sausage. It's like regular. 
guys everybody just left and it's two o'clock in the afternoon and um i'm gonna go get ready we're gonna go visit my mom for a couple hours and then we're going to ian's parents house for dinner don't know what i'm having yet to there but we had breakfast which was kind of a late breakfast um i made biscuits and gravy and uh we had bacon and sausage and it was all pretty tasty so that was my first meal of the day it came to almost 700 calories to be honest that sausage had a lot of calories in it i didn't know how much it had until looking at it a little bit later um but yeah crazy amount of calories in two sausage patties my mind was kind of blown and then um yeah, we're going over to her place or Ian's family's place for dinner. So I'm going to have more than enough calories to stay under my TDEE today. I am eating today, obviously. It would be a fasting day. So I will be eating three days this week. I eat yesterday, I eat today, and then I'll be eating tomorrow, which is kind of weird. I don't think I've eaten three days in a row on a vlog since Florida that I think about it. Um, but, you know, it's New Year's and I'm okay with this. It's celebration and after today and I'll be getting back on track with ADF to reach my 120 goal or you know my physical goal that I want to be at so kind of exciting um I feel good today I didn't really do a lot of drinking or anything last night we kind of all just chilled we watched failed compilations online and um played connect four just some games and rang in the new year with our closest friends and went to bed and got up and made breakfast and now we're gonna get ready to do some other stuff today so that's kind of what's going on um I know Hannah vlogged for me earlier today I'm not really sure what that looks like of course by this time that I see you know get to this point in the video I'll know what it looks like so so uh yeah enough with the rambling time to get off here and go get ready I am so tired and so full. I don't want to eat for 17 days, but tomorrow's another eat day and I'm not changing my fasting schedule. So I probably just won't eat a lot. Um, yeah, so I'm making my breakfast and lunch now. I'm gonna kind of keep it light. Um, the good thing is that Ian has pool tomorrow. So for dinner, I can kind of do what I want and I probably won't eat a lot because like I said, I'm so full. I was full from yesterday and then I ate more today. And I'm just, God, I'm so exhausted and my stomach is so full and I'm definitely bloated. I hope I can fit in my clothes tomorrow. That's how I feel right now anyways. Uh, this afternoon, we went to my mom's house and we saw her. I brought her a bunch of crap that we had from a party, um, like some candied nuts and popcorn and just a bunch of stuff that we had that I knew we weren't going to eat and I just took it all to her because I know they'll eat it. Um, my brother is there with her and I didn't want to make all this stuff go to waste so I brought it to them and they'll eat it. And um, then after that we came home and dropped Bowser off and went to Ian's parents and we had dinner. She made chicken casserole. We had little baby carrots and some rolls and um, then she made this gelatin type of pie that was good. and. That's what we did for dinner so yeah more than likely went over my tde today i know i went over it yesterday so tomorrow gotta get back on track start eating healthier again um you know just get back into the fasting game get back into eating healthier and making the right choices on meals and stuff like that because uh this past week i've kind of been struggling with the holidays and stuff but that's okay it's worth it i spent it i enjoyed it with my family i enjoyed it with my friends this is fine I keep telling myself this because I don't want to be a disappointment to myself. I don't want to be a disappointment to you guys, but it's okay that you splurge like this every once in a while because that's the point of living life is you have to be able to splurge and enjoy yourself. And constantly worrying about counting calories or if you're gonna gain a couple pounds here or gain a couple pounds there, it's not fun living like that. I've done that for the past year and this holiday season, I've really tried to allow myself to enjoy myself a little bit more. So try to keep all that in mind. Um, but now that the holidays are over and we're starting the new year, this isn't a new year's resolutions. I said this last year, um, I don't believe in new year's resolutions just because I don't think you need a new year to have to, um, you know, change. But just now that we're done and over with the holidays going into the new year, uh, it's time to get back on track and all the holidays are over and um, the parties are all over so 
gotta start thinking about getting healthier and, and, and getting back into that stuff and watching more what I eat again and things like that. Once we get rid of these cookies over here, should be done with all the crap food that we have. I don't think I have anything left in my cabinets besides some like slim Oreos from Trader Joe's, but everything else I have is pretty healthy, so that's good. Um, uh, yeah, so that's kind of what went on today, and tomorrow, guys, we're going to get back on track, and uh, I'll show you what all I'm bringing and make tomorrow, of course, for breakfast and lunch, and haven't decided what I'm going to do for dinner yet, but that's for tomorrow. We'll decide then. I'm so tired. I'm going to go get ready for bed, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow morning. And good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. I decided to do something this morning, very last minute because yesterday I talked about eating three days in a row and I haven't done that on my vlog since I was vacationing in Florida. I'm deciding today that I am changing my fasting schedule. So, starting today, I will be fasting today, eating tomorrow, fasting the next day, eating the day after that. You know the drill, changing my fasting days up, which is something I've never done during the whole process of intermittent fasting. I've always stuck to a schedule, the same schedule. And I'm changing today because I don't feel very well. I ate like crap the past couple of days and I just feel gross and bloated and then my stomach hurts and I just don't feel good. Last night after I went to bed I was actually feeling pretty nauseous. Like that's how sick I felt. So um, this morning I woke up and I still just don't feel good. I know it's because of how I've been eating the past couple of weeks. It's catching up to me. I haven't been eating healthy. I've been indulging in cookies and sweets and things like that. So I'm going to switch my fasting day so I can fast today and then I'll eat tomorrow. And I'm really excited about this. Um, you know, it's it's good that I'm able to decide to make this change. The only reason that I have not switched my schedule before is because I'm too lazy to change the days on my calendar. If I'm completely honest, I don't want to mess that up. But I'm starting new and I'm starting fresh and today I decided that I'm going to fast today and then eat tomorrow and alternate day fast like that. So with that being said, today's a fasting day. I have my coffee and my water. I had packed my lunch and breakfast already that I was going to eat today so I'll just put it in the fridge and have it tomorrow instead. So uh, yeah, that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to change up the fasting days. So that's something kind of exciting, right? <laughs> Um, with that being said, that means today I won't be working out. I'll probably just do my two walks. Maybe do a little bit of a small lifting exercise or something on break, but uh, when I go home, I'll just proceed as if it was a regular fasting day. So, changing up my days. Wanted to tell you guys that. And, um, I'm here at work. I have 11 whole emails. It's gonna be a long day. Maybe it'll be busier though since we've been gone for a while. We'll see. Well, hello everybody. I am pulling down my street now. But I wanted to go ahead and start vlogging because I have frozen stuff that needs to go inside like as soon as I get to my driveway. So, there's that. <laughs> Today was a successful fasting day. I was able to get through it pretty easily. I'm not gonna lie. I am so full and bloated though from yesterday. Like, I'm so glad that I changed my schedule. I honestly couldn't have made a better choice for myself, um, honestly. So, that's really good. I'm glad. Um, I went to the grocery store on break and I was gonna get cheese. That was my beads on my car. I was gonna get cheese and sandwich baggies and I left with $43 worth of vegan and veggie meals from Aldi and didn't get cheese. So, I need cheese. <laughs> um, I'm home now, I just pulled into the driveway opening up the garage now. I'm gonna go inside. I have a bunch of meal prepping I need to do for me. I'm gonna do some meal prepping for my best friend Hannah. She asked me to help her come up with something because her and her boyfriend eat out a lot and she was asking for help and suggestions since she knows that Ian and I don't really eat out too much and we usually stay home. So I'm gonna try to come up with a meal plan for her and I think I'm gonna post that online for you guys to see um, kind of my suggestions and different meals and stuff like that that you guys can throw together for breakfast, lunches, and dinners and all that good stuff to kind of get Get you started I think that'd be a good tool for everybody to use so that's one thing I want to do tonight and then I also want to finish up a painting but we all know how I get sucked into meal prepping 
and stuff like that and then I never move forward with actually doing anything that I want to do for example painting so <laughs> um, we'll see kind of what tonight brings um, I'm gonna go inside though and uh, see Ian before he leaves for pool tonight and then do all the rest of the stuff I gotta do and I'll talk to you guys later are you so neglected oh yes you are yes tell me all about it tell me all about it Bowser oh man so let's be honest guys, I did nothing that I was planning on doing tonight. Um, basically, I chilled on my couch and I watched an episode of a series of unfortunate events, the new season, and then I just watched an episode of Shameless. And now it's 8.30 and I'm ready for bed. Well, I gotta go shower, so that's kind of why I wanted to go ahead and sign out of this week's vlog right now because I... Uh, I need to go do stuff before bed but i kind of wrote out some of the meals and stuff that i have that i'll be able to make the next coming weeks or whatever so i mean there's that right but besides that any of the meal prepping i was planning on doing for my friend i ended up not doing i didn't paint i think the painting that i am working on i'm gonna try to finish it for uh my friend's birthday which is the 14th so I have some time um I kind of just wanted a night to chill here and do nothing so I've enjoyed it honestly I'm so tired I am tired of feeling like I have to constantly go all the time and um right now I, I don't have to do that obviously so it's been kind of nice to just hang out and do nothing so I made it through the whole day the whole fasting day and tomorrow I'll be eating so I already brought my lunch and breakfast to work so we'll kind of talk about what I have there then. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and inside out of this week's vlog. I am really proud of myself for being able to switch my fasting days. I know it doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but being on the same schedule for over a year now and then finally deciding to change it to benefit me instead of forcing myself to eat today and being possibly even more miserable. Um, I'm really glad that I decided to go ahead and change it and, um, you know, think about myself and my own health and things like that. So I'm thinking by tomorrow I won't feel nearly as bloated. Earlier today I felt so bloated. I, ugh, it was bad, <laughs> but I am glad that I was able to get through today and not worry about it. Earlier this week, Love What Matters sh shared my story again. So I've gained a whole bunch of new supporters on my channel and on my Instagram. So if you're new here, hi, hello. My name is Rachel. This video probably isn't the best example for you guys to watch first. Maybe, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but new year, gonna start getting back into eating correctly again. Now that the holidays are over, I can focus more on eating healthier again going back to my fasting schedule per usual and uh really focus on losing the last seven pounds i have to lose um by february so we'll see what happens when that time comes i'm really nervous i really hope i can get there it's gonna be a journey to lose those last couple pounds it always is isn't it I guess with all that being said guys thank you so so much for stopping by and watching this week's vlog i really appreciate it and i will catch you on the next one